Hi everyone, my name is Sylvia. There I am. Welcome to Champagne with Sylvia, my chance to chat with some fun and interesting people over a glass of bubbly and maybe learn a thing or two. Today my guest is the always unpredictable and crafty queen, Donna Rama. So sit back, relax, and join me with a glass of your favorite beverage. Let's get started. All right. Hey, Donna Rama. Hi, Sylvia. How are you, baby cakes? I'm good. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> you look sober or not stoned. Are you okay? It's just a look. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Um, how long have you been doing drag? Since I was 17. So like for three years. You so lie. <laughs> Since I was 17. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm 38 now. So I think if I stayed in school, it would have been 21 <laughs> years, 20 years. Yeah. It's 20 years. 20 yeah. years. Yeah. Do you remember your roots, your beginnings? Some of them are with you. Yeah, talent shows. I, okay, the first thing, I remember 501 doing shows there. Yes. Yes, and that was fun. And so it was a talent contest somewhere, yeah. You know, I noticed that a lot of drag queens now, probably because there's no, people don't really put on a lot of talent shows, but they didn't get into sort of doing shows and sort of being popular and finding their way through whatever career they're going to find by starting in, in talent shows. Mm. And I kind of think they should, in a way. It kind of feeds the hunger. And you yeah, get the experience there. And, and it's almost like paying dues in a way. Sure, of course. And also, like, you know, discovering yourself and and learning the hard way. Yeah. If something fails, it's in front of everybody. Yeah. And then you go home and you're like, I don't want that to happen again. So you try to fix it. So you shave. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff like that. Shave. <laughs> write that down. Somebody write that down. Shave. Step one. Um, now, where did the name Donorama come from? So I tried to enter that talent contest, and then they were like, "What's your name?" I'm like, Vince. And they're like, "No." And then I was like, "Okay." And then Chris <laughs> Edwards happened to be hosting. She goes, "Who do you like?" And I said, "I like Bjork and Madonna." And she goes, "Why don't you go with Madonna something?" And I was like, "Okay." So we came up with Donna. And then I think it was her that said Donna Rama. And it was before Dollar Rama. So I'm going to sue. No, but like, <laughs> I had to lower my rates. And so, like, yeah. So basically, yeah, that's how it kind of happened organically. Yeah. That's so neat. I know. So weird. Yeah. Mine came from another, I'll tell you that story later, but mine came from another queen too. Um, <laughs> what do you think of RuPaul's Drag Race? Because every time I see. I love the show. A lot mm. of queens don't seem to love it. Mm. I love it. Mm -hmm. I get it. I get what she's about. I get what she's trying to do with this. And I get what the queens are trying to do. Mm -hmm. um, but when I see queens on there, I see you. Like, if I picture a queen on RuPaul's Drag Race, if, I, if a Toronto Canadian queen can get on there, I see you. Is that something you would do? I would do it. Yeah. Because I like the idea of the, the, the artistic challenges that they have. They're like, here's an hour or two, and this is your project. And I love stuff like that. I would definitely do it. Well, you're a prop queen. Oh, I love props and cardboard and finding garbage. <laughs> like going through people's garbage. And, uh, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Professional. Well, they were going to, I do that all the time. They were going to call this vodka with Sylvia, but we found the champagne on the curb. So we thought, it was a whole box. We thought, don't waste it. Um, family. I want to talk about family because, mm. particularly, we're older queens. Luckily, mm -hmm. Um, it's becoming more and more acceptable with, you know, gay rights and everything that's going along with. Sure. But, you know, a while ago there was a little less acceptance within the family. But mm -hmm. your family, your mom, mm -hmm. is a huge proponent of yours. She is. And we're going to be doing a show later. And uh, she'll be front and center with her camera. And, mm -hmm. and you must be, you must feel really, really lucky. I am lucky. I'm also really hard on my mom. <laughs> Why? I'm like, I don't know, because she tapes everything. And I'm like, that was awful. <laughs> and she's like, I gotta put the video. I'm like, no, you're not. And so now she's like, that's incredible. And I and I don't take that for granted. And so, yes, I guess I'm lucky, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. But she's like everyone's mom. Oh my God. You know, she loves everybody. And she goes to the show, she tapes everybody's numbers. And she likes everybody. And she is fascinated by how good people are. She's, yeah. she's very supportive. One mm -hmm. of the queens that you have at your show a lot that we'll, I'm sure we'll be seeing later is um, Guinness World Record holder, Miss Michelle DeBerry. Yes. Um, she's taken a shining to you. Yes. I mean, she's drinking more, so maybe that's it. But <laughs> she likes her wine. Yeah. But she really, I think she's 
in love she's with like, me. She's like, yeah, well. Just kidding. She's adopted a, a whole new, and adopted a whole new following through you. Oh, good. She deserves it. Yeah. She she's like uh like the empress, the forever empress of drag, you know? Like uh she went through who knows what. You know what I mean? And thank I'm happy that she could sit here and enjoy herself and mm-hmm. that people do love her. And when we call her to the stage, everyone's like, Yes. You know, she's an icon. Yeah. A true icon. Yeah. I love her. I love Michelle DeBerry. <laughs> yeah. Um, where are some of the places you perform? I perform every Tuesday at Statler's for a show called See You Next Tuesday. Um, and then uh, some days we're at Zippers and later on we're at Garage and I host with Safana Cox. And then every weekend, Friday and Saturday, I'm at El Convento Rico, which is the legendary mother house. It's been there for 24 years. I know. Yeah. And that's a fire trap. So good luck to them. <laughs> Yes, it is. Yes, and it I'm is. just kidding. No, it isn't. No, it's not. It's not. But they don't know I'm Latina yet, so I still have a job there. <laughs> they don't know you're not Latina. That's right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I was like, keep this mustache. And so, yeah. Yeah. It's a great place. I love that place. It's awesome. Everyone's like, the best crowd I've ever performed for is there. Yeah. What's your worst experience in drag? Worst like, ex- show, show-wise? Usually when I forget my tucking panties, that sucks. And, uh, and it happened by the way. And uh, don't come to my show. It's ballsy. And then um, what happens? Sometimes when the music skips, I die, you know, because I'm like, oh, shit. But then it kind of, it skips in the right place and it becomes a remix. And so, (laughs) but yeah, worst drag experiences, nothing much. I haven't had Have you never fallen off stage? Yes, I've fallen off stage. But I mean... I was actually dressed like a giant maxi pad, so it had it coming. <laughs> because you can't see where you're walking, you can't really look down, and so... But I was padded, so I landed <laughs> very nicely on my face. I saw that outfit, that's great. Yeah. I did see that. Yeah, it was yeah. fun to fall in that. Uh, well, we're gonna be... Uh, we're actually getting out of here pretty soon because we're gonna be doing a show together. Um, but if you can, check her out every well everywhere you can see her but um statlers cheers baby thank you so much for coming in thank you sylvia love you baby Woo! we'll see you soon be right back thank you so much for being here i want to say thank you to my guest and i want to say thank you to our sponsor statlers if you ever find yourself in downtown toronto the heart of the gay village church and wellesley please hit statlers always something going on cheers we'll see you next time 